Today I'll be showing you how to make your KDE desktop look like this. So let us just uh, get a theme. Let us just search for KDE themes in Google. And from the KDE store, we need to get the Amethyst theme, this one. So as you know, we can download the theme uh, basically from the settings, right? So let's just go to appearance, go to application, uh, go to global themes, get new theme. Let us search for Amethyst. Click on install and wait for the installation to complete. Well, while the installation proceeds for the Amethyst theme, we need this launcher that is the MMCK launcher. So just I will put the link in the description. You can just go there for installing the MMCK launcher. We first need to install curl. So sudo apt install curl type in the thermo uh, terminal and wait for the installation to complete and while it proceeds you can just copy this get back here and paste everything and press the enter button and wait for the installation to complete and there we go that is done now after this is done uh, in the future we are going to need the latte dock so let us just install the latte dock also so sudo sorry sudo apt install latte dock So there we go, the installation is done. After this is complete, let us get back here. So um, let us now install the Lightly theme. Just go to Google and search for Lightly theme. This is the Lightly theme. Now in the installation instructions, you get that this one this is the dependency list so let us just install everything that is there in the list press Y and wait for the installation to complete now it's always a very good idea before installing before starting an installation procedure that is to update the packages that are there in the system so you can just run uh, sudo apt update so I have done that and I forgot to show you in this video now finally after it is done just copy and paste the commands that are there for the install installation of the theme so while it goes on with the installation let us get a latte layout that is the edma edna sorry that is the edna latte layout don't worry i will be linking everything in the description so that you don't have to search around on google you can just click on the single link that is there which will lead to my blog post from there you can just click and download the files readily available now let us get a wallpaper just open pixels let's close this and search for blue jellyfish I think this is the one that's it done now let's open the download and right click and set it as the wallpaper finally it is set as the wallpaper now let's wait for the lightly to complete installation while lightly is uh, doing the installation part let us do the complete the latte dock portion of the video so open la launch latte dock there you go now right click and click on configure latte 
go to library layout and click on import import from local files go to downloads and click on edna latte layout and click on import now click the apply button and select edna and click switch wait for a few seconds for the latte layout to switch and there you go go to edit panel okay go to edit panel let us go to the appearance part and decrease the opacity up to some level that's it now lightly installation is done let us select the amethyst theme and click on the apply button there you go now for the application style we need to select that let us close and reopen there you go now from appearance let us go to application application style and select lightly okay now let us quit latte and restart i think latte is uh, the latte doc is facing some problems so let us just restart latte doc and see if it solves the problem and it does solve the problem there you go you're getting that rounded corners Now for shadows, I do like very large shadows. Let's select this as 100%. That does it. Now from application layout, you can move to transparency and increase the transparency of the menus and the sidebars. You can also increase the roundedness of the corners or decrease it further to, and I would like to keep it around four. And that's it, done. Now, mm, okay, I did log out and log back in and I think everything is fixed now. So as you can see, the title bars are uh, all, all fixed. So let us just remove this part of the operating system. That is, let us remove the lower panel and that does the work. Now this one, let us remove the application launcher that is there, close and right click and click on add widgets let us search for mmck launcher let's just drag and drop it over here okay let's edit the panel and remove this one that is back over here let us remove that close that's it now this one looks up little bit weird so let us fix that click on edit sorry just click on configure mmck launcher you can select any icon of your choice okay and uh, click on the positioning let us select horizontal center well, let us select screen center that is also available let us select horizontal center and this is how it would look So there is also a slight amount of blur that is there in the background part. Let's add any other widget. You can search for the better inline clock. Oh, there is also a new clock. There is a modern clock. Let's see this one. Let us add another widget. That is the clock which we downloaded just now. That is the modern clock. We will add in the center of the, just in the center part. In the left side, you can install the cable menu and uh, let us just remove the better inline clock that is there and right click, add widget, search for the cable menu. You can drag and drop it over here. 
Now let us theme the terminal. So right click on the terminal and click on create new profile. Just go to appearance and select any profile of your choice. Let us select the background to be a little bit different uh, which goes on with the current theme, right? So let us try to match this color. Okay, I think I can I matched it finally. Click on the OK button. Now for the other backgrounds, we will just copy the HTML code that is there and paste it. For the faint color, let us select a fainter version of the same theme. For the intense color, let's see select a darker version and blur the background. Let's increase the background transparency up to some level and just decrease it a bit. Click on OK. OK. So that's it. That's how the terminal should look after the edit is done. Now what I did uh, is that I re reduced the blur amount by a, to up to a little extent. For doing that, after you do that, you will be able to see that there are subtle amount of blur that is there even in the title bar part because you are using the lightly window uh, the application theme, application style. So for achieving that, you need to go to workspace Be behavior, desktop effects and click on the blur settings and select something that is in between. You can increase the blur which will make it look like this. It looks great but then you um, it almost looks like the blurs in the title bar to be non-existent. So I just decrease it to the central part which makes the blur um, look available in the title bar. So that is something that you can do. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.